by Dragons of Hiss, The Adventures of Harith, Rocket Dragon Boy. Now, flying sailing craft like the Clara Ann are very sluggish and slow in the lower atmosphere, and they must have spent an hour tacking back and forth as the captain hauled her up into the high atmosphere just into space where she would be able to pass across the Atlantic in there nigh well the blink of an eye. As we all know, Norfolk County, Ontario, consists mostly of hamburger stands along beaches and farmers pulling out tobacco leaves. However, it also has the raw ingredients corn used to make ethanol and sand, which together are used to make glass dyeing, that wonderful composite material consisting of glass and diamonds that can be used to make the glass dyeing jewelry that mere dragons and dragons covet and which is sold to them in stands along all the roads. Now Father Hine had discovered that some s secret bad organizations were funneling glass dyeing jewelry into their own activities to fund the purchase of weapons and other terrorist activities and he had heard that another shipment of glass dyeing jewelry was going to be snuck out of Norfolk County and would be used for bad ends. So he had to get to Norfolk County right away so he could alert the authorities. Once the space cog hit the boundaries of outer space, her speed increased so that she crossed thousands of miles in fractions of a second, and then she came hurling back in the atmosphere. Unfortunately, she was going too fast to slow down like she normally would, and the captain unfurled the braking sails. However, the ropes holding them to the mast broke in the braking sail flew away into the atmosphere. The ship was going to smash at a massive velocity into a human colony down below, one that was called Orchard Road Mills. The captain managed to unfurl one of the jib sails, and the ship went skidding across the air towards Norfolk County, barely under control but far, far too fast for safety's sake. Incoming freighter space cogs and the tourist craft that came in to Norfolk County was a brake dragon's job, and Harith, in his intermediate form, immediately saw the incoming space cog Clara Ann, and in the blink of an eye, he had developed tons of extra mass and muscle so that he could slow down the craft they clamped onto it, stretched out his wings, and tried to slow it down. Slowly, the huge dragon beast worked himself and the speeding space cog down to the earth towards North Road, where his claws could make contact with a gravelly surface, and sparks flew as he tried to break himself by skidding down the road with the craft held in his arms. An approaching combine with a human farmer aboard saw the rapidly approaching beast whipping his tail, and he swerved his combine into a nearby ditch, and he cursed the dragons as he looked at the damage to the front of his combine. 